have new information tonight about how dozens of local nonprofits are adjusting to a new funding structure from the United Way. Our Zach Hedrick has more on that. We are trying to get kids ready for kindergarten. Our niche is working with kids with disabilities. For decades, the Brighton Center has provided enrichment and developmental services through their early childhood education program. CEO Kim Jeffrey says the center helps about 2,500 kids per year. If kids enter kindergarten with the social emotional skills they need, um, then they're almost four times more likely to graduate from college. So. Jeffries thinks they'll be able to help even more kids prepare next year. The United Way approved more than $130,000 of additional funds for the next fiscal year. Jeffrey says the extra money will help them provide more screenings and hire a certified behavioral analyst. We want to make sure we get them ready, and that position is going to allow us to do that. Executives here at the Brighton Center are pleased with the extra funding, but there are some changes to the United Way's funding structure that could create some challenges for other local nonprofits. The agencies had to show that they would have match at least the amount that United Way brought to the table. That means the Brighton Center would have to raise more than $200,000, but Jeffries believes they won't have a problem reaching that goal. I can see myself. The United Way will also require nonprofits to submit monthly evaluations for their programs. Jeffrey says they used to report outcomes once a year. So this allows us to be in conversation with other members of the community who are working on the same goal. Zach Hedrick, News 4, San Antonio. And for more information, head to our website, news4sa.com.